Good morning. Welcome to my 39 week update. I'm filming this on Friday the 11th. Uh, it's going out on Sunday the 13th and my due date is Monday the 14th. And my goodness, I really hope <laughs> that there's a good chance that I will already have a baby by the time this goes out because I am miserable. Um, I've been dealing with pups for, I don't know if, how well you can see that, uh, for the last few days. Um, if, I guess I'm lucky that it didn't hit until week 39, but um, yeah, it's just, it's itching and now it's like kind of burning in places. And I, sorry, I'm not going to try to make this video really good. I didn't put on makeup or a bra. Um, <laughs> I am just here bouncing on my yoga ball and trying whatever I can do to get baby moving if she is interested because uh, that's apparently really the only thing that will cure it. So <laughs> I, yeah, I am due on Monday tomorrow and my heart out date, the scheduled C-section is on Friday. So hopefully I don't make it that far because for one thing I'd be miserable itchy the whole time and for the other um, I, I don't want to have the repeat c-section I, I really do want to have a v-back um, everything in this pregnancy so far has really led up to that but I think something about being just sort of generally miserable all the time um, with itchy and scratchiness is that um, yeah I'm kind of willing to just like make this end like this is actually legitimately the only thing that has made me think, huh, maybe I really should just get an epidural because maybe it would help a little bit. Um, so I'm just distracted uh, trying not to touch myself. I'm getting them between my fingers and toes now. <sighs> okay, um, I had an appointment on Tuesday the 8th. Um, I was 50% effaced, one centimeter dilated, and hoping that that, you know, the, the doctor seems really um, encouraged by that and hopeful that I will go into labor on my own. Um, if not, they can also try to do some um, augmentation methods instead of the C-section when I come in. Um, things like breaking my water, Foley catheter, um, the Foley bulb thing um, that sort of puts pressure on your cervix. Things that are less that are more like uh, physical and less medical um, or chemical they don't want to do um, like too much pitocin with a VBAC because there's an increased use uh, risk of uterine ruptures so that's where we are with that but um, so I'm hopeful and I am just you know every morning praying that this is the day that I go into labor Today is my last day at home with the baby, uh, with my toddler, uh, before my husband is off for paternity leave. He's taking off on Monday, regardless of whether we have a baby by then or not. Um, so I just have to get through one more day without any help. But she has been amazing. My two-year-old has really been great. She's actually sleeping in this morning because, in counter to what I just said, she uh, woke up in the middle of the night last night at like four. Um, but my husband got up with her, and she ended up. She did end up in in bed with us asleep and so she's still in there so like I was able to take a shower and I didn't wake her up wash my hair um, I've been using pine tar soap just the last I got it yesterday um, and then I also got this topical corticosteroid from the doctor that I've done two applications now you're supposed to only use it twice a day I'm taking excess vitamin C because I've heard that might help I've tried Vicks VapoRub which didn't not help but it kind of it was more of a distraction than a cure um, and just generally trying to get through it and distract myself and playing a lot of solitaire on my phone and listening to podcasts to try to keep my mind off things and try to keep my legs apart so I don't scratch my feet with each other. Um, that's all really. I'm just one big ball of itchiness and hoping to have a baby sooner rather than later and praying that that cures the pups instantly because apparently some people can have it linger for another two weeks after birth and that just sounds miserable trying to nurse with a rash all over my entire body so just prayers you know if you have them um and i guess i will see you in the next video on thursday if i don't have a baby by then if i do it might not happen that video um but we'll see and in either case i'll be updating my um community tab with the birth announcement when that does happen. So you'll know uh, if you see there, if you follow me uh, in 
you know, YouTube subscriptions or wherever you'll, you'll see that. Um, so I will see you whenever I do. Wish me luck. Bye. Thank you.